Batman and Smashes are some of the fastest and most exhilarating moments in sports, but have you ever wondered how a small birdie can hit speeds of over 200 miles per hour? In 2014, in Beijing, a group of people did an interesting experiment. A watermelon was put on a chair without a holder, and the legendary badminton player Lin Dan, known for his powerful smash, was asked to hit a shuttlecock as hard as possible into the watermelon. With just a smash, the watermelon was cracked. The smash is the most powerful shot in badminton. It's a shot hit with speed, power, and accuracy, sending the shuttlecock flying at high speeds toward the opponent's court, aiming to end the rally. But to understand why the badminton smash is so fast, we first need to break down the physics behind it. At the core of any smash is Newton's second law of motion. It states that force equals mass times acceleration. For the badminton smash, this means that the force applied to the shuttlecock depends on its mass and how fast it's accelerated. The shuttlecock itself is incredibly light, weighing just about five grams, so it's the speed, the acceleration, that really determines the power behind the smash. To put that speed into context, the fastest baseball pitch was recorded at 105 miles per hour, the fastest tennis serve at 163 miles per hour, but the fastest badminton smash, it was recorded at an incredible 351 miles per hour. So how does a player generate such intense speed and power? It's all about body mechanics and the transfer of energy through every part of the body. The power starts from the ground up. As the player prepares to smash, they load energy into their legs. This energy travels upwards into their waist, then their shoulder, arm, and finally into the racket. The key here is the smooth coordinated flow of energy, much like cracking a whip. Generating power alone isn't enough. To execute a perfect smash, you also need to hit the shuttlecock at the right spot, the sweet spot. The sweet spot is the small area on the racket that maximizes power transfer and precision. If the shuttlecock hits anywhere outside this zone, the racket loses energy and tilts slightly, which can ruin your accuracy. In badminton, even the smallest deviation can send the shuttlecock off course. Now, let's talk about the equipment. Not all rackets are made equal, and two factors play a significant role in the power of a smash, the center of gravity and the string tension. A racket with a heavier head allows for greater mass behind the smash. According to Newton's law, more mass means less deceleration, which helps the racket maintain speed even when it hits the shuttlecock. Then there's string tension. Looser strings allow for more elasticity, meaning the strings can absorb and then release energy, acting like a trampoline to propel the shuttlecock forward. But if the tension is too high, the strings become stiff and don't give the shuttlecock that extra boost. So how do you bring it all together? To create the perfect smash, players need to combine body mechanics, timing, and the right equipment. And when it's done right, the result is a shot so fast, so powerful, that even professional players struggle to react. As we celebrate this incredible sport, we must also shine a light on a darker side of the sport. Most players are unaware that the feathers used in these shuttles often come from live ducks and geese. For one professional game, up to 54 geese endure this brutal treatment just to create a few shuttlecocks. That's why we're proud to introduce the Erkey Ethical Birdie Movement. Join us in transforming the game we love. Together, we can choose cruelty-free alternatives that uphold the integrity of badminton. Let's make a difference one smash at a time.